guys, how's it going? My name's Helena, welcome back to the channel. You can see behind me we have a very different rig to normal and that is because the year of 2023 is the year I move away from home to university. So portability is key for me this year and I want to build a rig around that. I want to be able to ensure that I can do astrophotography wherever I go and this seems to be a pretty good solution. I've got two very new arrivals to the channel. The first one is the ZWO 2600 MC Pro cooled colour camera and second alongside that is the ZWO ASI Air Mini. Now both of these items, just a wee disclaimer before we get started, have been sent to me by ZWO for review and I will be reviewing them over the next couple of months. They have not paid me, there's been no exchange of money for me to say anything about them, so anything that I say on the channel is completely my opinion. The 2600 MC Pro has an amazing APS-C size sensor. It's the back illuminated Sony IMX571 sensor. It's got a 16-bit dynamic range which will hopefully become apparent when we see the smoothness of the colour and the ease of editing when we get on to post-processing. And then we have the ASI Air Mini which is something that is totally new to me, it's going to be a completely new adventure. I've never used any of the ASI Airline products so I feel like the Mini is a really really good starting point. And what's so brilliant about it is it allows you to image wirelessly. So once you've plugged in that 12 volt DC cable and you've got it plugged into a power outlet, you can very easily and seamlessly control any DSLR camera or ASI camera wirelessly from your phone. So let's have a little chat about what I am shooting tonight. It is a very special target as it is a once in a lifetime opportunity to capture it as it won't be back again and that is Comet C2022 E3 ZTF. Now the last time Comet ZTF approached Earth was around 50,000 years ago and scientists are predicting that the next time might not even happen. This is because the comet is following an open trajectory, which may mean that it never returns to our inner solar system. It'll make its closest approach to Earth on February 1st and February 2nd. Currently, it is January the 25th, so not really very close to the closest approach, but with the Scottish weather, I decided to take the chance when I had the clear sky rather than waiting until next week when it was probably going to be completely cloudy. This is what the brilliant user interface looks like on the ASI Air. And honestly, looking at this and using it tonight has just made me wonder why I haven't bought one of these or looked into buying one of these before now. It was a really simple setup process. I didn't even have to use the instructions which I normally do have to use. However, the on-screen instructions and guidance when you first open the app are absolutely brilliant and it guides you through all of the tools you use as you go through each individual setting. So here is where my guiding would be showing up and my guide graph would be showing up if I had the auto guider connected tonight. That loading sign that you just saw pop up and go away again is showing me that a new image is coming through and this white bar at the bottom shows me how far through it's downloaded the image. So conveniently actually just now it's downloading another one. And the loading sign will come through and a new image will pop up on the screen. Up here I can keep track of how many images in my plan have been shot already. So currently I've done 75 out of 240. Over here I can start and stop the plan. And I can see how many seconds are to go in the current sub-exposure. And if we zoom in here and tap once, we can get a really, really close-up view of the target we are shooting, which I just think is totally awesome. I absolutely love this user interface. I cannot believe I haven't looked into one of these before now. Okay. 